What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm bringing you a tutorial with a test driven development with Jasmine. So if you want to get started with some unit tests for JavaScript, this is a really great way to get started even if you don't know anything. And let me tell you something, nowadays more and more companies are asking for it. So if you want to get out of that uh, junior developer zone and you want to become a more mid and senior developer, no more of these kind of things, uh, test driven development is really a must. Now most of the companies are using it, like I said, especially in the kind of agile environments where you want to write code fast and you want to write code well. Because if you have loads of different lines of code, sometimes it's difficult to find your bugs. So the best thing to do is really to do some kind of tests like this. And let's get started with this because this is really easy. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'll be using Jasmine for this tutorial. There is a lot more unit tests out there like Mocha Chai and there is other languages like PHP, C Sharp. All of them, they have their own unit tests. This one is used for JavaScript and it's the one I'm using now. So let's get started with this. You can actually, you know, if you want to download the necessary files for this, you can go into their GitHub is in here. You just put like Jasmine GitHub on Google and it's going to show up this page and you click in here on GitHub and you can download these um, uh, starter files or you can actually use this kind of um, CDN. You just put like Jasmine CDN on Google and should bring you this kind of uh, page. So you just have to link this kind of CDNs in here. Uh, so you don't have to get any files. So I get in here in my um, Visual Studio code, my code editor. I got all of these that I need in here. Look, I got one of these links for the CSS. I got the minified version, so it's even fast to load. You need the internet connection for this. I got the JavaScript in here, I got the HTML and I got the boot, okay? This is all the dependencies that you need. Right, so once you have all of this started, it's time for you to write your specs, okay? Your specs is gonna be like your tests that you need. In here, I got this in this folder. Let me show you in here. I got my spec runner. You can give it whatever name you want. This is gonna be this HTML page. I have a folder in here called specs, okay? And I have in here a test.js, completely empty. The first thing that you have to do when you're writing your tests is, is uh, describing your suit, okay? Your suit is gonna be what you want to describe about your tests. So let's say, for example, I'm just gonna put in here uh, describe, okay? And I'm gonna describe what's gonna be my test. Let's say I'm gonna put in here a test about uh, get uh, year dates, okay? And in here, I need to put after a callback function, okay? So this is gonna be describing your test. I'm gonna put in here at the top, first of all, like a, a variable called year, Okay, and uh, oops, I'm gonna put in here let year, and the year is gonna be right now. Let's say uh, I'm gonna put it like you are getting it from a form or some like like in um in a string. Okay, that's why I have these quotes around. Now I'm gonna put in here um I'm gonna put in here a spec. A spec is gonna be like now the test. Okay, so it okay. And I'm gonna put in here, uh, should be current year, okay? I'm gonna put this one in here. Now before this one, I'm gonna actually put should be, uh, should be a number, okay? And I'm gonna put another callback function in here. Okay, and now this is where your test is gonna be. You expect, okay, the year, this variable that you have in here at the top, and you're gonna do dot to be, okay, and what's the, the current year that we want right now? It's gonna be 2019, okay? Look, we got our first test in here. I'm just gonna cover it with you in a second really fast. 
but first we need to link it in here okay so i'm going to put in here a script and what is the source we got our our spec runner html in here so our test is inside of specs okay this is the folder i created and it's going to be test.js okay let's run this and see what happens look at this this is the interface that we are just loading from all of these things that we covered in here, look, this is what you see on the screen, okay? This is our test. And it says in here, one spec, okay? So this is the spec, it, okay? And then we got one failure. And let's see what's the failure. Get year dates. This is our describe, okay? Our suit, get year dates. And then it says, should be a number. That's what we say in here, should be a number. And then what do we expect? We expect year, this is the value in here, okay? Expected 2019, look at these quotes in here. This means that this is gonna be a string. And we expected this string to be 2019, but as a number. And this doesn't happen. That's why our, our test is failing. Because this is what I'm telling you. Let's say that you, for some reason, you are grabbing this value in here from a form and it's coming as a string. And you want to do something with this year after, but you can't because, uh, because it's a string, you know what I mean? So with these kind of tests, you make sure that everything is according what you want. And look, now what I could do in here is, I could go in here and do year, Okay, this is just like to update this value. We already have this initialized in here. It's going to be equals to parse int. Okay, this is the way that JavaScript can convert a string into an integer, to a number. And what do we want to parse int? The year. Okay, just put this one in here. And let's see if this spec now runs. Okay, look. One spec, zero failures. Get year dates should be a number. All green, all good. So our spec is running. Okay, so as you can see, this is like a really great way to get started with this test-driven development. I'm just gonna do something in here like really quickly as well. Let's say now, I'm just gonna comment this code out. I'm gonna put in here another one and I'm gonna say it. Uh, let me just get rid of these. And I'm gonna put another one. Let's say that you want to say, should be next year, okay? And let's go in here. So it should be next year. You want to expect something to be 2020, for example. All right, so, now you could go in here and for example let's take this now out and just leave it as 2019 you can actually go in here before let's say that you want to put before each okay and you are going to put a function in here and what you want to do is before i run this i want that year is going to be incremented by one so i'm going to put in here plus equal one for example so we are in here initially we have year 2019 after we go into our suit in here and okay before we run this spec we want to increase year by one so by the time we get in here we expect year should be next year okay so expect year which comes from here to be 2020 let's say if this is working it's working fine let's say that um, uh, we are going to create another suit okay and it should be in here let's say it should be uh, next two years should be in the next should be in the next two years or in the next two years it should be 2021 okay 
But let's put in here now instead of plus one, let's put plus two. So in here we get 2019. Before we run this one, it's going to be 2021 because we are putting this, okay? And before we run this one, it's going to be 2021 plus two. So it's going to be 2023. Let's see what happens in here. Look, expected 2023 to be 2020, okay? Look, should be in the next two years. And of course, this one in here is already failing as well. Because, uh, look, this year in here is already not matching this one. But as you can see, guys, this is like a great way. You can do so many things with this. This is just like to make you aware of this test-driven development. There is a lot more stuff in here that you can check into this documentation. Look, if you're going to support uh, or docs in here, your first suit, there is some other things in here that you can do. For example, what is it? to be undefined, if you want some variable to be undefined at some point. Um, like I covered in here, the before each, there is the after each, before all, after all. Uh, there's not many things in here if you check, uh, and this is like really quite easy, and a great way for you to make sure your code is working fine. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like this kind of introduction for test-driven development with Jasmine. And uh, I'm going to put this link as well on my GitHub if you want to just like to play around with it a bit. And that's it for this video. Hope you guys like it and I'll see you in the next one.